So it looks like we got something to lead off of the weekend, Cosmos. And, well, yeah, I was actually thinking about, because I was, like, kind of thinking about well, all weekend and uh, today, too, about, you know, and I kind of already did that already, you know, when it comes to the consensus of uh, whether it's Cody Rhodes or, you know, professional wrestling in general. But, I, like, well, I, I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad, I'm glad that this came up, so, and this is actually, because I also wanted to talk about is this, it go, this stems back from what I wanted to also really, really get into what happened with MVP and Triple H, and you know I'm saying no to, uh, you know, uh, the Hurt Business 2.0, or just the Hurt Business coming back, but that also, also, I don't know, I think that also kind of has something, uh, even though these are rumors, but I feel like, you know, Possibly might that might have something to do when it comes, uh, you know, when you look at MVP and him talking about t- talking and speaking out and you know frustrations about when it came to like hey, well, you know that the hurt business come if the hurt business is gonna come back and probably you know it probably had ends and uh, you know disagreements him and Triple H. But, uh, yeah, well, I, I, I just wanted to, like, look at, yeah, of course, the rumors, I mean, it's, uh, speculation, I mean, you know, it's already, uh, it's been, I've also been, I actually, actually just now, blowing up all over Twitter with, uh, you know, God Bobby Lashley could be leaving, leaving WWE, looks like, uh, it's the same thing happened with, uh, Becky Lynch and Drew McIntyre, so I know you, uh, obviously, you got, you got to take this and look at it, just, uh, I mean, just, uh, yeah, he's not really official, and, uh, pretty much take this, uh, what's a large grain of salt, as they say, you know, just talks about his contract, reportedly, or rumored, uh, Bobby Lashley's WWE contract set to expire, and, you know, and all that juiciness, uh, you know, Bobby Lashley could be, is Bobby Lashley going to be here in the near future? But yeah, so I say you can't really take that serious. So, you know, it's pretty much speculation. You know how it goes, when it comes, especially when it comes to big talents like Bob, like a Bobby Lashley. And we've seen that time and time again. But it also, it also says too, because like I said, when I brought up uh, MVP, it also, uh, wait, what was it, where is that? A few other uh, superstars is looking like they could be released also. Yeah, it said MVP and uh, Tamina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I saw. Cause I saw a couple of reports like the also where it said like yeah, also MVP and Tamina also could be released. <laughs> and uh, I didn't say it. Well, cause yeah, just Chelton's already gone, and I don't think it said anything about Cedric. But yeah, I mean yeah, that's the that, that's the big story right now. How it will which it really, uh, you know. Yeah, that's what it looks, you know, what everybody's been talking about. Or, you know, of course, the uh, the next big story to blow up as, you know, Bobby Lashley, is he, is he going to stay? Or, you know, is Bobby Lashley going to leave with WWE? Is going to leave WWE? <laughs> or, you know, for possibly whoever, like... And I said, I'm not going to sit here because, <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm not, gonna, yeah, no, you're not, you know, you're not going to get that from me too, but, you know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend as if that I'm going to, or obviously too, I'm not like he said, but you know, I said, I'm not going to sit here and, uh, pretend, you know, ball out my eyes that, uh, that I have some sort of a relation or, you know, I, you know, I grew up or, you know, kind of, or, you know, Bobby Lashley was in, you know, was a part of my childhood. Not really. <laughs> I mean, uh, he would Bobby Lashley. That's <laughs> that's the thing about Bobby Lashley too. And I feel like too, like yeah, that, like that's the thing because Bobby Lashley. He came like he came in a sort of time where, yeah, I pretty much was out of wrestling. Like that was starting my stage. Like pr- probably like pra- practically, uh, you know, the like the generation of the ruthless aggression era, and or uh, or you could say the attitude era. That was uh, pretty much yeah was. Uh, tagging the tail and just like uh, leaving because how wrestling was just declining overall and you know or you know wwe and yeah i feel like he came in a time to where yo know, i mean like, he, he, I, I thought like in my opinion too he was okay i mean yeah you know, like the first time i ever saw bobby lashley he was like yeah i mean he was in that all horrible awful version of wwe trying to uh you know recreate ecw fucking awful 
And, yeah, I mean, he was pretty much one of those guys, too. I wouldn't say the guy, but, yeah, he was pretty much one of those top guys that was being touted as uh, were probably, like, of the future or, you know, he was on, or on that brand of uh, WWE's version of ECW. And, yeah, I'm not going to sit here also and say that Bobby Lashley, <laughs> Bobby Lashley was so underrated. <laughs> Bobby Lashley was always helping. This is a bunch of bullshit. Um, like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, the dude, yeah, like I said, just said, he was, like, one of the top guys. They were touted him as the top guys at ECW. He was the ECW world champion. I think also he was probably multiple times even intercontinental champion along with a, a U.S. champion. And I think he was also tagged. I want to say, I don't know. He was also tag team champion. Could be. Uh, but uh, also, yeah, I mean, he was, yeah, he's held numerous belts. And oh yeah, also he was. I think yeah, he was world champion, <laughs> and, uh, WWE, of course, a couple of years ago, and you know just being multiple times of world champion, WWE champion, Bobby Lashley when he came back. So like yeah, like it's like yeah, this guy was not held back. He was yeah, like Bobby Lashley. He had a pretty good run, uh, good run. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Back to back in WWE. You know the second if you want the second half highlight. Of his career, you know, coming back and being, you know, WWE champion for a little while, and I, I guess you could sort of say, sort of way, that he, yeah, he was. I mean, probably like pretty much the highlight of his career is, uh, you know, shaving, <laughs> absolutely just uh, try, attempting to shave bald. It was actually Vince McMahon, by the way, but. <laughs> but attempting to shave bald, if he were not, he was going to shave bald uh, Donald Trump, the next president of the United States. <laughs> yeah, I just got to hit you over. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, good good riddance uh, to K uh, Kamala, though. Uh, yeah, good luck. As if <laughs> good luck with that train. Uh, uh, being elected as uh, the next president or, you know, trying to do that. Uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, call up, call up Hillary Clinton, I mean, yeah, call up Hillary and see how that went for her, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's Jover, <laughs> yay, Bob, Bob, good riddance, Biden, but, oh, uh, yeah, let me get back to, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, that was pretty much the highlight of his career, or, and they pretty much kind of say, like, uh, yeah, I mean, him coming back to be kind of like a, uh, yeah, one of the top. Yeah, one of the top guys. Uh, you know, in another latter era, which we are known now to. But yeah, like I said, I'm not trying to like cause, because yeah, he yeah he like it's not like his run. You could say his run was pretty much that. Yeah, I mean Bobby Lashley. Uh, yeah, I know too. He's been one of those dudes in wrestling that's had kind of a good career, and I mean. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> hopefully not, or hopeful not, that he doesn't go back to, uh, oh, hell no, he doesn't go to the AEW. We know the stance there. I mean, <laughs> just look at guys like Edge or Daniel Bryan, uh, you know, Bri uh, Edge, or you know, how, how hilariously, uh, how horrific that went with Christian, where it was just, oh, wow, God. yikes. <laughs> Uh, and just, uh, you know, Brian, where he's just, uh, kind of like a, <laughs> kind of like, uh, has a fetishization for, uh, you know, his ass bleeding or, you know, being beat to a pulp and just completely just, uh, man, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to see Bobby Lashley in WWE, man. I mean, you could look at, just look at guys like Wardlow and Hobbs. Tony hates, like, Tony does not like big guys, so, yeah, I hope he doesn't go to AEW, and yeah, he's, yeah, he should pretty, he should pretty much go to TNA, because that's like, uh, yeah, of course, it's the relationship with the NXT, you know, everything like that, what that's going on, I mean, yeah, like, uh, that should be good, yeah, I mean, why not go to TNA, but yeah, like, people probably will probably expect or speculate that, you know, for, or if we're not MVP, along with Bobby Lashley, is going to leave because, uh, I mean, they might speculate that, of course, you know, that <laughs> Triple H is, uh, yeah, about the whole thing with the MVP and tri uh, apparently Triple H being racist <laughs> and uh, not wanting to do the hurt 
to business line, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that could, uh, you know, people as all as probably like is gonna speculate on that, and <laughs> I, I don't know if I also I kind of like uh, put uh, heat on that, but I don't know. You know, that could very well be the case uh, that people are gonna speculate about. But like, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, cause he's yeah. I mean, he is pretty well like, when he took friends with uh, Dolph Ziggler. Or Mustafa, Ali. I think he, yeah, he pretty even has pretty. I don't know if he's his brother. I don't know. It's not like I have his phone number, but yeah, I don't think he, I don't know if he's friends with Dolph Ziggler or guys like Dolph Ziggler and Mustafa Ali. That's already there, or you know, or probably, or even have more guys. That's the guys that's his friends, more friends in TNA that didn't go to WWE. So I mean, yeah, I, don't know, I could see him going, or they could probably possibly be doing a thing with, uh, of course, the already thing that they have going on now between TNA and WWE themselves that they could, uh, you know, put Bobby Lashley in between that and do you know a little new do a little something a bit. Yeah, I kind of already saw the writing on the wall. I mean, <laughs> you could already you already saw it before then last year when uh, Bobby Lashley wasn't really used in in WrestleMania, and you know he had. Went on that right, a tangent about how he was just upset and disappointed about not being in WrestleMania, and this pointless. Then he just gave like, yeah, WWE shoved them in this pointless ass, uh, you know, group or trying to make a group that was going to be called Pride. <laughs> even that wasn't a thing. <laughs> like they didn't even show that they were officially a group known as Pride, <laughs> but apparently that's where, that's what they were going to be called, but they were just, they were just being called Bobby Lashley with the Street Profits, and yeah, that's, uh, absolutely went no fucking nowhere, because you don't see Bobby Lashley anymore, and just see the Street Profits back to basically being themselves, <sighs> which also, I, I don't know, I thought, also kind of thought that was kind of like a missed opportunity, because, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> But, uh, I mean, yeah, we can't all, like, I guess, can't all have what we want to have, right? But, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the story going on right now. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because that's kind of, like, been the telling story for a while now. Going back to, uh, before WrestleMania 39. That, yeah, I mean, if you look at it, Bobby Lashley is not really, hasn't been on TV lately. So, yeah, I can see that. I can see Bobby Lashley. Even, you know, MVP, uh, both leaving, uh, WWE, so, yeah, we'll, we'll guys, I guess we'll see, uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, just to have some for y'all, but, yeah, blessings, y'all, continue to enjoy the rest of y'all weekend, 